Hey everybody, it's Dizzy. I just wanted to do a very, very, very fast video, kind of giving you guys a hair update. I changed my hair again. I had talked about doing a skunk stripe in my last video, and as you can see, I have. I decided to make it red. It looks a little bit darker than it is in real life in this lighting because it's pretty dark today outside. Um, but uh, what I did was I sectioned off my hair. Now my hair had been growing out. I had not bleached my hair for a couple months. I'd actually gone over, my hair was blue in streaks and the rest was my natural hair. Um, and then, but the streaks were in the top. So I let them grow out for a couple months and then I have been doing a dark brown semi dye just over it to try to hide some of my gray and kind of deal with that and hide the blue. So it was a very cool toned color. So I went ahead and sectioned off my little stripe in the front here, which it's pretty small. I mean, if you look, it's not a huge amount of my hair. I think that when it's time to retouch it, I might actually add a little bit more hair to it a little bit further back, um, just so I get more of a streak. But I sectioned it off and then I went ahead and bleached that section. Now the two inches or so of hair that were virgin hair got up to a level nine. Um, the bleach I used was not very good. It was a Wella five stages bleach that I got from Sally's with 20 volume and honestly I was not impressed. Um, so when I retouch this, I'm gonna just spring for a good bleach because my hair is darker than it's ever been. It's like grayer and darker than it's ever been. It's about a level five light brown and it used to bleach up with anything in like half an hour I'd get to a 10 but now it only got up to like a nine which is really as light as I needed it for the red but I initially thought I wanted to do orange and I will eventually I think do orange but the orange I have um, is Mandarin by Directions and I don't know if you guys can see that it's a very kind of yellow orange it's really light like it doesn't look as light on camera, but when it, uh, your hair has to be really light for it not to look like you've just become a ginger, like a strawberry blonde redhead. So I strand tested that. I didn't like it. Um, the two inches of roots were like a nice yellow blonde, but then the last two inches that I had dyed previously in the past were stained peach pink. So I initially thought I was going to do white, you know, big white shock in the front of my head. But for one thing, it didn't look good with the really blonde in the front and I didn't want to bleach it again. And those pastel pink ends were really kind of fouling that idea. So I ended up taking like most of a thing of mostly directions Mandarin and then putting in like the tiniest drop of um, candy apple red from special effects. This red is so strong. And it was, I was hoping for kind of like an orangey red and it ended up just kind of like a warmer red than I usually do, but still not orangey at all. So that is what I did. And then I ran that mixture through the rest of my hair. So if you look, my brown is more like a warm auburn brown now than the cool sort of purpley gray brown that it was before. So I felt like that was going to harmonize better with the red in the front of my head and make it look more coherent, um, like it all cohesive, whichever, um, to make it look like it, it worked together. Um, I need, I need, when I fade this out or when I have to do my roots again, I do want to try orange. I don't know how it's going to look on me. I just, I have this weird idea that I want orange hair. Um, and if it's just a streak, it won't be a big deal. And I can always put red over it if I hate it. But um, I need to find a good orange that's not like permanent and gonna last the rest of my life. So if you guys know of a good orange, comment down below. Um, I was looking at maybe Arctic Fox orange, if anyone's used that. I know that Special Effects has two oranges and they're both amazing. I've seen gorgeous pictures of them, but Special Effects tends to stick around, but it is my dye of choice. So if anyone has any experience with high octane orange or a napalm orange, comment that down below. Um, or any orange that you like that isn't too yellow. Like I want it to be really high pigmented because like I said, Mandarin was a little weak. And I don't want to look like I'm trying to be a natural redhead because no one's going to buy that. 
So anyway, that is my hair update. There's my little stripe. It's really cute. Um, I'm looking forward to like, look, if I do a little loop in the front, it'd be cute. I can't wait till my hair is long enough that I can do victory rolls. I think once it gets to that point, I'll probably do another stripe, maybe on the sides too, but we'll see. That's a while incoming. Um, but yeah, that's my hair. That's my update. And I'll see you guys next time.